My name is John Harrison. I'm an experimental psychologist and I'm currently principal consultant at Medis Cognition Limited and I'm an associate professor at the University of Amsterdam Medical Centre. So my interest for the last 20 years has been in cognition in all its facets and I've really had a living working for drug companies, trying to help them show that their drugs have a positive effect on cognition, typically in neurology and psychiatry, and more recently with the interest in cognitive training, helping with designing the tests and also looking to see if they're efficacious. Cognition is your ability to think, so it's your capacity to remember things, to concentrate on things, to solve problems. And what you really need to do to maximise your potential is to maintain your cognitive health. But there are also things you can do to enhance your ability to think. Education is a very good example. Learning a new language, learning how to solve problems, learning a new game, pushing your brain with cognitive training. An ambition I've always had is to empower people to find out about their cognition. And I've wanted always to do that in the context of a game environment, where people's motivation to do well is high and therefore give us a much more precise estimate of their true cognitive abilities. MyCQ is, is a collection of tests based on 200 years of our experience of testing cognition. And it comprises of a number of very traditional approaches to measuring speed of performance, people's attention, their ability to remember events, and their ability to solve problems. It's a very acute and helpful way of characterising people's cognitive abilities. So if people are having difficulty with learning, there may well be some issues around their cognition. So if we can engage children with cognitive gaming, we might get them to pay more attention to the things that are going to benefit them from a learning point of view. So it may have some application in the context of behavioural difficulties as well. Cognition is quite fragile and if you're anxious it's quite possible that you can't pay attention in the way you would like to. So if we can assess people's ability to pay attention and then institute some programme of helping them manage their stress and their anxiety, that's quite likely to improve their cognition with regards to things like attention and concentration. If you think about psychiatric populations, many of whom we really can't do very much for currently, given that cognitive training is inexpensive, safe and non-invasive, that's potentially, I think, a very fruitful path for people to follow. A lot of the evidence we have for cognitive training working for people has been collected from, for example, studies of school children, um, as well as a more recent study carried out by a medical centre in Amsterdam, working with patients with psychiatric problems. And in both those studies, there are a number of people reporting that their cognition seemed to have gotten better. A greater awareness of what cognition is, how we can monitor it, how we can measure it, and where the opportunity exists to improve it that's what I think we're going to see in the next decade.